guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming a haul video. Um, I'm just going to share some of the bits that I bought throughout August. It's just some fashion things and a few but not many homeware bits and bobs. So I've got quite a lot to get through so I'm just going to jump straight into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is something that I've got on now which is just this really super basic v-neck t-shirt from ASOS. Um, I bought this in a two pack and it also came with this white one here. I think it was about £20 for two, so they're really, really reasonably priced. Um, they're just really plain cotton t-shirts, good for how much they are. The only thing is with the white one, it's a little bit see-through, but nothing that's not manageable if you're just wearing a nude bra. But I think they're gonna be especially good for, you know, like layering up under knits and stuff like that. So this is the first thing, kind of a bit boring, but definitely a wardrobe essential. The next three things I'm gonna show you have all come from um, an Australian website called Fashion Bunker and they stock loads of really amazing Australian brands and they very very kindly sent me three things um, and I absolutely love each of them, like they're, they're such gorgeous pieces, the quality is amazing. The first one is by Cameo Collective and it's this black jumpsuit which is like three quarter length, wide legged, it's got a v-neck and also um, a v at the back but with a small panel across the back so it's got like a cut out detail too it's just really oddly flattering it doesn't look like it would be at all because it just kind of looks so shapeless but it's really really flattering and it's just so nicely designed like it's so so baggy and wide legged that it almost looks like um a dress when you've got your when you sort of your legs together because you can't see the split in the trousers but they've done like a pleat down the front of the crotch so it all stays really nice and flat you don't have a baggy crotch at all it's really well tailored it's just a really, really gorgeous piece. The next item that Fashion Bunker kindly sent me is this really amazing navy blue blazer from Finders Keepers. This is just, I've been wearing it all the time since it came. It's like the most gorgeous blazer. And I'm a huge blazer fan. I wear blazers non-stop. They're like my most worn style of jacket, I would say. Because I just like to throw them on over anything and they just look great with everything in your wardrobe. So this one um, is a bit different to any other one I've got, mostly just because it's got two buttons at the bottom, like it's not got buttons going all the way down on each side, just two. So it means that that little lapel's cut in quite low. I wore it as a top the other week and it looks really good as a top too. And the material is gorgeous, it's like a really thick, heavy material, which means it's so nicely structured, it's really well tailored, it's just is a really, really, really good blazer. I don't actually think I have a navy blue blazer. Well, obviously I do now, but I don't think I had one before. So that's always good. The final item that came from them is also by Finders Keepers, and it's these trousers, which are again, are kind of like three quarter lengths. Well, a little bit longer. They kind of like hit just above your ankle. Wide legged, flowing, crepey trousers basically they're really really comfortable they're like kind of a bit like culottes but are not as wide leg so i think they're a little bit more flattering than culottes and um, they've got really nice tight waistband which is always really flattering for me i don't really have a tiny waist or anything i'm kind of like quite straight down around my tummy and my hips and things so anything that sort of pulls me in a little bit it's always really flattering um, yeah, and yeah i've been loving them so thank you so much fashion bunker for sending all of those things it's very kind Next up is a few pieces from COS. So I think anyone who reads my blog or anything will know how much I love COS. But the thing I love it for the most would be their winter stuff. Their coats, their knitwear, things like that are just fantastic. So I ordered some jumpers from COS. The first is this light grey merino wool turtleneck. It's super, super skinny, which is really flattering. Oh, the doorbell. Give me a bit. Okay, sorry about that. I was just interrupted by the posty. Um, as I was saying about this very lovely turtleneck jumper, it's really tight fitting, so it's really, really, really flattering. Um, nice long sleeves. Kind of not much to say about it because it's such a basic piece, but I wear turtlenecks non-stop through winter and because this one's a really fine knit it's going to be great for layering up without you know like sometimes you layer you get really bunched up around your armpits i don't know if anybody else gets that but like i always love how white shirts look under jumpers i get so uncomfortable and feel like i need to tug at my clothes the whole time and especially if i put a jacket on top of it it's just far too much so this is going to be great for that kind of thing because it's so skinny you won't get any of the armpit bunching <laughs> so the next thing i've got from cos is 
something for fashion week which is in like two weeks or something ridiculous it's come around so fast so I've started thinking about my outfits and um, I think Cos is great for fashion week pieces because they do really structural things which photograph really well and look really great and for stuff which is really my style so I always feel really great in them too which is so important um, and one of the things I got is this black knitted it's kind of like a dress and um, it's got just short sleeves with like ribbed hems which again makes it really flattering because it sits really close on around your neck and on your arms and stuff but it's super long at the front kind of like just to above your ankles and then at the back it stops just above your bum so it's one of those pieces where it's like kind of normal at the front sort of cool because it's super long but then when you turn around it's a bit of a statement piece because you can see your bum but well obviously not like your naked bum I'm not just going to wear some knickers with it so I'm going to wear some trousers but with jeans and stuff it looks really really fab so I absolutely love this and when I shop for fashion week I don't want to buy stuff that I'm just going to wear for fashion week I mean this was like £70 so this wasn't cheap at all I don't just want to wear it once because it's a really wearable piece and I think I'm also going to try and wear it back to front so I have the short bit at the front and the long at the back. The final thing from course is another jumper I'm just clearly like so geared up for winter right now but that's still out because it's September so you're allowed to buy jumpers when it gets to September um, and it's another turtleneck again and um, this time black this time it's a loose fitting one not super skinny like the grey one what costs are great for is they do really skinny sleeves which I find really flattering it doesn't make it look quite as oversized it's the softest wool I think this is merino wool again just yeah it's like there's not much to say about them is there because they're basics but they're the best basics ever this and uh, this hasn't still got the price on it but this again was quite expensive then knitwear isn't cheap really I think this maybe was also about 70 pounds but it feels and it looks like it was that much and it's going to stand the test of time so that's all fine by me so the next item is a pair of shoes and they are by Dear Francis. Dear Francis is a shoe brand that I've blogged about quite a few times before um, she's a shoe designer based in London and she designs really gorgeous minimal shoes really classic shoes but with like a bit of a modern twist so i'll leave a link to her website below if you haven't seen her stuff before because it's really worth having a look at because she designed some amazing pieces and um, i've had the pleasure of meeting jane francis who designs the shoes and what well, it's her shoe company a few times now and last week her and her husband came to stay here with my mum and i for the evening we all had dinner and we went out to betty's in ilkley the morning after and it was just a really really lovely evening and day and she surprised me by bringing me another pair of shoes so these again have been gifted to me jane is far too generous with how many shoes she gives me all the time um, but yeah i'm just going to show you them so they come in that really really nice box and then they come in a dust bag which says dear francis on the front and they smell really good like does anyone else really love the smell of leather they smell amazing um, and they are these ones now i have these already in gray and they're the most gorgeous brogues ever and i've been eyeing them up in this color for ages which jane knew so she very kindly gave me them and they're like almost off-white real kind of statement because of their color especially for me when i wear lots of dark colors they really stand out in an outfit and look fab they've got um kind of like a silver underlaying under where this cutout detail is which is so subtle but when you're walking it like glistens as your feet move it's so cool but yeah these are just gorgeous aren't they as you can see so i think i've got some blog posts i've done with wearing these already so i'll make sure to link them but they'll be on the blog loads too so the final piece of clothing is another one from ASOS and it's another turtleneck jumper which is so bad I need to stop with the turtleneck jumpers don't I but I'm just I can so justify them because I wear them all the time and they look really really great so I'm just going to keep going with the turtlenecks and um, this one is another grey one as well and um, similarly to the cost one it's baggy in the body oh, I've got it on inside out and back to front sorry but yeah, this one hasn't got skinny sleeves like the cost one, so it's generally a bit baggier all over. It's got really nice detailing on the cuffs, it's just got a little split there. Um, yeah, I think this was about £35, so it was really reasonable. I got it in size 10 and sized up, so it would be super baggy. Oh, also, that reminds me, I forgot to mention that these t-shirts, I am normally a size 8, and I got them both in a size 12 because I wanted them to kind of 
fit baggy like this one is rather than being super tight because if you get your own size they're a tight fitting t-shirt so I forgot to mention that so if you want to get them and want them to fit like this go well I went three sizes up and this is exactly how I wanted it to fit too so just bear that in mind so anyway now I've remembered to mention that a little bit that's it for clothes and I've just got three homeware bits that I want to share with you so this month I've actually been buying quite a lot of homey things um, Harry and I are moving to Manchester next month but most of what I've been buying is like really boring you know the stuff you just don't want to have to spend your money on so like pillows towels just kettles stuff like that so I haven't got like many decorative things to share with you guys yet I have got some which I'm going to share with you now but when I have more I think I'm going to do a homeware haul because I love watching other people's and I'm really into interiors and stuff like that so keep your eyes paid for that but for now it's just like a little taster of three things that I bought recently that I really love okay so the first thing actually when I'm looking at it now is kind of hideous but like good hideous if that makes sense and it's this ginormous and uh, what is it absolute ton it's so heavy this is like a mini workout this this ginormous marble pot basically Harry and I are going to use it to put utensils in in the kitchen but you could use it for absolutely anything you wanted it's really big um, and it came in a light marble, like a creamy marble, and this dark one. Obviously, we went, we went with the dark one. I got this from Boundary Mills, which is like a big homeware, clothing, outlet stop, um, shop in Cone, which is... I don't really know where Cone is. Anyway, it's on the way to Manchester from here, anyway. This was £15.50, um, which I thought was pretty good for something marble. I don't know if... That, I don't actually know if that's good. But... Yeah, it's sort of hideous, but good hideous. Well, I hope you think it's good hideous. I think it's ugly, but good. The next thing is from Habitat, and it is this short glass. Is this called a tumble glass? Yeah, I think it's called a tumble glass. Um, these were, this has not got the price on it, but I think they were like three pounds each or something. Um, and it's got like an angular shape to it. It's quite simple, but different. And I got these because Harry and I, on an evening, well, not every evening, but some evenings we really like to have some Baileys with some ice or a really good gin and tonic and it's just nice to have it out of a nice glass you know and it's packed with ice and it looks really good and stuff like that so these are sort of going to be our special glasses and yeah as I said these are from Habitat really good price and um, I'll link them in the bottom bar but I'm pretty sure it was like £3 or £3.50 something like that so yeah some lovely glasses so the final thing I'm going to show you is kind of a bit random I think but it's something I've wanted for ages and it is a Mason Cash mixing bowl now these remind me of my childhood so much just reminds me of being young for some reason it reminds me of baking when i was little so i really really wanted one and um, this is the biggest size that you, or the biggest size that they had in house of fraser anyway which is where i got this one from you can get them smaller as well and in a few different colors this was 25 pounds so i think that's quite a lot for a mixing bowl but it is a branded one and yeah they're just like a really classic homely sort of I want like they make me feel cozy is that really weird like I just can't wait to bake out of this and I'm gonna feel like I'm on the bake-off and it's just gonna be fab thanks so much for watching guys it's everything I've got to show you today as always links for everything will be in the description box below and um, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you don't already and um, leave a comment because I love reading your comments and I always reply to them so yeah thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week